Weather Authority, meteorologist Ron Rhodes. Oh, yes, we got to look at the Twin Bridges right now. It, now, I'll tell you, we've got a gray start to the day, but the rain now starting to move in, and we're going to be seeing these showers and thunderstorms push through the tri-state really over the next 12 hours or so. So a little after midnight, I think we're pretty much on the backside of all of it, and the severe weather threat's off the board. But, man, we've got 12 hours where we're going to be seeing plenty of rain, and I think it's going to add up quite a bit. We'll show you rainfall numbers here in a second. Uh, you can see the rain coming down the Twin Bridges there from Ellis Park. Now we're taking a look at the east side of Evansville. The flag starting to get kicked a little bit more by the wind. Now the wind has not been a big factor so far and I wasn't expecting that this morning, but it will become a bigger factor this afternoon, 10 to 20 miles an hour, mainly shifting to the east. Then it's going to shift around to the south and southwest. We got a warm front that's going to move through late in the day and the temperature is going to keep rising throughout the night. And our high for the day is going to be later tonight before midnight and that's when we're going to be seeing it up around 60 degrees. So it's going to be getting warmer there. There's that flag though getting kicked uh, to the south, but that's going to be shifting back to the north here once we get that warm front pushing on through. So it is a chilly rain that's falling right now. That, of course, our Deaconess Gateway Diamond Valley Federal Credit Union camera got a semi working its way northbound across the Blue Bridge right there, our roofclaim.com camera under a gray sky is the Blue Bridge. Looking from the Hampton Inn there and from on top of the tallest building in town, Fifth Third Bank, we got a good look at the Evansville Riverfront, the west side of town in view as well, and visibility down a little bit, but at least we didn't have the fog this morning like we had yesterday morning in downtown. Wow, we were enveloped for hours. 45 degrees, we got an east-northeast wind at 9 miles an hour. Now it's starting to pick up just a little bit as the rain starts to fall. It is feeling very chilly out. In fact, it's down to 37 degrees up in Flora, 39 in Lagodi. Most of us are in the mid 40s right now. 44 in Jasper, 46 Santa Claus, 45 here in Evansville, 45 in Henderson. It's up to 50 though in Owensboro, and quite a few 50s down to the south. 55 in Greenville, and 54 degrees right now in Beaver Dam. As we take a look at live first warning Doppler radar, mainly light rain in the Evansville metro. We got some moderate pockets though, kind of pushing in. But look at that. Basically, what you see in yellow, orange, and red moderate to heavy rain and that's most of that mass of rain that is pushing through southeast Illinois right now and southwest Illinois too but of course our part in southeast is continuing to work its way from southwest to northeast and that's gonna be the case we've got a pretty good shot of rain here and we've got more on the way in fact this area of low pressure let's zoom out a little bit more centered in the midsection of the country headed up toward the Great Lakes but it's tapping into the Gulf moisture and again that warm front which is now pretty much right along the Kentucky Tennessee border is gonna keep moving to the north and we're gonna warm up later in the day as a result of that so, yeah, plenty of rain to be had for sure. Future tracker, a little slow in pushing the range to the Evansville Metro today. Uh, but at the same time, we're all going to get uh, enveloped in rain. We've got a, basically a drenching headed our way. Now, by 830, still seeing plenty of showers and thunderstorms on the board. Now, we do have an isolated severe threat for parts of the tri-state. Not all of the tri-state, though. Show you the parameters in a second. But by 830 the back edge of the showers and thunderstorms and I think we'll see a little bit more of a squall line kind of pushing through at that point is going to be along the Wabash River breaking up is what our future track shows as it moves toward midnight here we are one o'clock it looks like most all the action has shifted uh, to the east toward the Louisville area but it is slowing the system down just a little bit still some straggling showers out there we are going to be clearing out though pretty quickly after the rain comes to an end and we've got plenty of sunshine awaiting us tomorrow of course the sun rises around seven o'clock and you can see we'll have plenty of sunshine to enjoy Joy, but by midday, early afternoon, more clouds roll in from the northwest. Might even see a few drops of rain out there and a few flakes of snow late in the day. But believe me, the chance for rain on Thursday is mainly just after midnight. All right, rainfall estimates. Now, the latest run on our future track rainfall forecast has backed off some of the uh, rainfall numbers. I still think we're all going to see anywhere from about one inch to two inches of rain. It's going to be a healthy one, no doubt about that. Marginal risk for severe weather. Earlier this morning, the Storm Prediction Center pushed it down to the south, that marginal risk. It had included Jasper, Tell City, Petersburg, Princeton. No longer. Still got to see some thunder showers, but the storm should stay down to the south. And let's go ahead and take a look at the risk. Not all risks are in play. Really not seeing a whole lot of lift, so not really expecting much in the way of hail, or at least certainly not large hail. And the tornado risk has been pushed south of the Ohio River. Only a 2% chance. Keep that in mind at level one. But we do have that damaging wind threat. That's what it mainly is, a damaging wind threat for later on this afternoon and this evening. And then again, pretty much out of the picture by midnight. 59, that's what I'm calling it for high in Evansville. You're saying we're a long way from that. We've got rain coming down. Once the warm front moves through, the temperatures are going to start to rise and we will see it rise throughout the night. It's going to be closer to midnight before we hit 59. Mostly cloudy sky, showers and thunderstorms. Again, an isolated severe threat out there. Breezy this afternoon at 10 to 20, becoming windy tonight at 15 to 25. All right, three degree guarantee Called for a high yesterday of 59. Always a beauty yesterday afternoon. 62, but that still works. That's a three-degree guarantee winner. Let's hear it for Kelly Zink. 
All right, Kelly. Of Henderson, congratulations, Kelly. Come on by the station and pick up your three-degree guarantee sock cap, courtesy of Ackerman Chiropractic. As we take a look at the next few days, temperatures going to be in the 50s today and tomorrow. Plenty of wind out there this afternoon and evening and throughout the day on Thursday. But the rain pretty much tapering off by around midnight tonight, showers and thunderstorms. And then we got sunshine to start today tomorrow, giving way to some clouds. Temperatures are going to get chillier. Now, keep in mind, the average high temperature is 41 degrees for this time of the year. So we're going to be pretty much spot on the average on Friday. But yeah, 44 high is pretty chilly. And then Saturday, a little bit warmer, but not much. And then here comes another shot of rain on Sunday as we warm up into the low 40s. We could see it mixed with a little bit of snow, especially Sunday evening into Monday morning. But yeah, 40s is where we generally are for highs. But I will say this, though, as low as we get is going to be 25 degrees on Saturday morning. That's as cold as we've seen in a little while, but nowhere close to as cold <laughs> as what we had around Christmas. Yeah, the recent memory is, is still present. Yeah, yes. It really yes. is. Well, we had a beautiful sunrise this yes, morning. It didn't that. last long, but boy, what a burst it was. Keep in mind, though, look how red this sunrise is. This was shot by Linda Bell in Owensboro. And you know the old saying, Angie, red, red sky, sky in the, in the morning. morning. Sailors take warning. It's generally a sign you have storms moving in later in the day, and sure enough, this was a good sign. See, some signs from nature are spot on. <laughs> <laughs> this one is one of those. And when from the east you like the least, that's another sign of storms to come, and we certainly have that. Oh, well, we'll keep it right here and watch you guys yes. do your thing. We'll Updates. be back right after this.